This is Jeff from Build an Aquarium Workshop, and today we are going to be talking about this red mushroom. Um, and if you look on the side, it's kind of pale. There's a red frilly mushroom. So we're not going to cover that today, uh, but we are going to talk about this red mushroom. And if you've seen one of my, uh, the very first video I shot, I think, when I set up this 40-gallon uh, rimless tank, you'll see that there was just one small mushroom, and now it has grown into several mushrooms um, and I wanted to go ahead and show you on this particular mushroom I guess there's four ways that mushrooms can reproduce and you have uh, both egg and sperm in the water which uh, this is not how this reproduced uh, the second way would be laceration uh, which uh, if you cut mushrooms up now that's uh, we've seen that in magazines people talk about it for decades uh, cutting mushrooms up and they they grow back um, much like a starfish's um, you know arm so the third type is fission, okay, and that you'll have uh, the two two openings or mouths in the mushroom develop, it goes from one mouth to two mouths, and and it just starts splitting. That's fission, and then the last method is what we have here, which is called budding, and uh, I'll get my pointer for you and show you uh, what I'm talking about. Okay, and you know, it was much easier to see now. But this latest little tiny head here, so I'll get my little pointer in there, there we go. So this right here, okay, is the tiny, tiny little baby red mushroom. And, and you can see here, um, this fleshy part of the base of, the, of this mushroom must have shot like a runner, I call them, over here. And then it starts, as you can see, it's still kind of pointed there. Um, there was easier to see much earlier, you could see all this intricate work of of um, the fleshy meat part of it and so then they separate and then you leave a mushroom here and you see that's what's happened there's another mushroom that was left there and it looks like you just have separate mushrooms all over the place and you know you think maybe they just drop a seed or something in the water but uh, that in this case it was it was budding now I don't know I'm, I'm not a huge mushroom propagator so I don't I can't tell you if red mushrooms or all mushrooms propagate uh, one you know the same way or different ways there's the four different ways but you know I don't know if red mushrooms uh, they I think they all have in common the laceration but I don't know if they all can reproduce all different four ways or like let's say maybe that frilly mushroom uses the same type of reproduction like let's say it was fission and that's all they do and then say maybe a green mushroom was or a red mushroom like this uses uh, the budding meth method so I couldn't tell you that but um, if you do know you know put that in the comments but anyway yeah put a little more flow back into the water uh, the mushrooms don't like too much flow. They don't like direct flow on them um, at all. And they don't like, you know, they like low to medium light, n nothing too bright. So if you put them toward the, the bottom of the aquarium, you know, on the sand, usually works good, uh, which is what you see here. So, yeah, anyway, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the fact and care sheet for this. Uh, feel free to share uh, any uh, information you have about mushrooms. Mushrooms do very, very well for me. You see in this tank, I have, you know, the blue mushrooms. So over here is the blue mushrooms. I hope you liked the video. Uh, like I said, feel free to comment and uh, if you have any useful information about this, that'd be great. Um, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, happy reefing. Have a great day.